What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cameron back at it again with a Call of Duty cold sweat gameplay and today's gameplay guys I start off a little bit slow, but I do find my uh my speed later on in this gameplay I'm using the brand new MG 82 and In multiplayer, I'm really not too crazy about this gun I love its fire rate and it does a lot of damage, but it really needs to be ranked up all the way and that's an issue with Cold War Due to the sweat-based matchmaking and how sweaty it is, I really think your guns need to be at least level 40 and above to be even competitive. Because they really need to be fully kitted out in order to compete in these super sweaty lobbies. But, with that being said, I like the gun. I do think we definitely needed a new LMG in the game. We only had three prior to this, and it is definitely a welcomed addition into the LMG portion of Cold War. Um, it definitely has a place. It does a lot of damage, but its reload speed sucks. Its range is pretty good, like fully kitted out, and its fire rate is amazing. It is an absolute monster within Warzone. It is definitely the meta right now. The MG82 literally shreds in Warzone. Um, I heard it's already getting nerfed <laughs> because of how OP it is in Warzone. Its damage is great, its fire rate is great, and for some reason it has absolutely zero recoil in that game mode. Because as you guys know, the weapons in Cold War function completely differently in Warzone than they do in Cold War. Like the FFAR was like the best gun in the game in Warzone, and it's like the worst gun in the game in the Cold War. But I like the MG82. It's a good gun. That's my review of it out of the way. Um, but now let's talk about the meat and potatoes of today's video, man. The CDL. I don't really care about the CDL. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care about professional Call of Duty. It's just not my jam. I uh, don't care about esports. Don't care about professional gaming. Don't care about any of that stuff. Um, really don't. But, you know, I'm not dissing those guys. Like, they make money doing what they love. So that's dope, man. Shout out to those guys. But... Usually, CDL viewership is very, very good. I'm actually surprised at how good it is. I think it has like 500,000 uh, followers, like viewers usually. It has millions of followers worldwide. It sells a shit ton of merch. And now they have those uh, cosmetic packs within the games that give you special camos. You see, I'm using one right here and stuff like that. I do like the camos. They are very cool. It's the only reason I buy it. And you can put it on every gun in the game. So that's cool. It functions as like an OG Black Ops 2 microtransaction, where if you bought the camo, you could use it on every gun in the game. I don't know why they don't do that anymore. But, you know, that's a little best besides the point. But the viewership for CDL now is down horrendously. Um, I believe the CDL Championship or, or something like that only had like 35 or 50,000 viewers as opposed to years prior where it's had over a hundred thousand viewers and you might be like yo cam why are you covering this if you don't care about the cdl but i'm covering this to show you guys that nobody gives a shit about call of duty anymore nobody gives a shit about multiplayer and nobody gives a shit about cold war it is very very apparent if in years prior the cdl championship games and all those cdl streams were getting like 50,000 viewers, 100,000 viewers, and now they only get shit. Less than half or only half of that with Cold War's life cycle. That's very, very telling to me. <laughs> that shows how little people really care about multiplayer anymore. People don't give a shit about it. They would rather watch Warzone. Warzone is the only thing that Call of Duty has going for it. Multiplayer is completely fucking dead. And you might be like, whoa. Well, how can you assume that? Well, the Reddit posts are non-existent. There's maybe like one or two Reddit posts a day. When the game first came out, there was like hundreds of them. Now there's barely any. Uh, it takes forever to find a fucking lobby. I was playing today with a guy who lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And if you guys are new to this channel and be like, oh, where do you live? I live in fucking Los Angeles, California. <laughs> there's, there's, God, that is literally on the other side of the country to me. Right? And that's not even the worst part. I've played with people in the Caribbean. I've played with people in Europe. I've played with people in New York, Ohio. Uh, when I was visiting my family on the East Coast, I was playing with people on the West Coast in like freaking Oregon and stuff. Like, it's ridiculous, man. There is nobody that's playing this game. Nobody. It literally takes me five to ten minutes to find a lobby, and then my ping is like 50 or 60 ping. It's literally terrible. Ping is not king 
within Call of Duty. Also, there's just nobody playing it. Nobody is playing Cold War. It's very, very obvious, man. Reddit posts are down. Uh, CDL viewership's in the shitter. The Twitch numbers are a joke. Call of Duty uh, Cold War has like 2.2 or 2.5 million followers or something with on, on Twitch. And it only has like 3,000 viewers. Nobody watches this game, bro. Nobody cares. It is so dead. And mainly because... It's boring, dude. Like, Season 2, I really agree with Nero's sentiment here. Season 2 done this game in. You know? Because I strongly believe that Season 2 was, like, the worst of the worst when it comes to Call of Duty. Like, we had, like, one map for the season. And it wasn't, like, even that crazy of a map. It was very, very average. The Battle Pass was, like, meh. It, It just completely killed off any hype that Cold War or Call of Duty in general had. Uh, When that season came out, nobody cared about Season 3, and nobody gives a shit about Season 4. It's very, very apparent. And I do like the content within Season 4. I like the new Battle Pass. I think the maps are decent. Um, The event's a joke. I don't even know why they do these stupid events. Nobody really cares about them. Uh, They're pretty pathetic. The only two good events were the 80s event... And uh, the Halloween event. Every other event was a complete, you know, shit show. <laughs> it's just a complete and utter joke, dude. It's literally a clown show over here. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. They need to do something. And they need to do something fast. Because this is really embarrassing, honestly. Well, we can only wait till Battlefield 1942. Because Vanguard is going to be even worse. All right, Vanguard... Nobody's gonna be watching Vanguard. Nobody cares anymore. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is your boy Cameron. Thank you all for watching. I am out.